Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us. How would you like to strike your irons pure? How do you get how do you like to get that lovely compression that, that creates no vibrations up the shaft? The ball fizzes off like a rocket. I know you've had them, you've had that experience where you've just struck it absolutely beautifully. How can you repeat that? on a consistent basis. How, what are you actually doing when you actually do that? Well, in this week's training, I'm gonna share you, with you exactly what's happening when you, when you uh, create those lovely sounds and lovely, lovely strikes and help you do it on a more consistent basis with three simple drills that will help you learn the feel of it. All right, before I do that, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, come and join the community, press that subscribe button and the bell so I can notify you every time I get or release a new video just like this one. So, what's happening when you strike those lovely, lovely shots? Well, at that moment in time, when that ball fizzes off and there's no vibrations up the shaft, you're getting a strike where you're striking the ball first, there's a lean of the shaft here. Your body's probably open a little bit, but there's this lovely compression. So the, the loft of the club's been de-lofted and you, look, you will look something similar to this. Those times when you're not striking it so good, you're thinning it and fatting it, you'll look a little bit like this. So you're kind of flicking, it becomes a little bit of a flicky motion. Very weak, it's awful for striking, catches it fat, catches it fit, you name it. So the question is, how do you go about achieving this motion on a regular basis? Well, there's three simple steps and they're really easy. Step number one, which I uh, referred to in a previous video of mine, which I'm gonna put up in this top right hand corner. The first thing you've gotta do is make sure that you truly have a swing. And what I mean by that is, is, I don't want your brain to be full of loads of information, thinking of this, thinking of that. That creates this woodenness in your swing. You cannot have that. That is not how we naturally move. So the very first thing I want you to do is first of all, sense the swinging action. So you've gotta have this as your core motion. So this, these arms here, are being swung by the movement of the feet. It's a foot to hand motion. I'm swinging the arms using the movement of the feet. What I'm not doing is isolating these arms and swinging them like this. The arms are moved by my feet moved. I'm using pressure, swinging them back and I'm swinging them through. So try this now, try and get a sensation of those arms being swung backwards and forwards is stage number one. Once you've got that sensation, pick up a golf club and do something similar. Start to swing the head backwards and forwards. Notice this, I'm not just doing this motion with an isolated arm motion. What I'm actually doing is that arm is being swung back by a movement of the ground, a foot to hand, just like I would do if I was throwing a ball. I'm not gonna go into too much more detail on this. I've covered it loads in this in last week's training, which you can access right here. Once you've got that sensation, you now need to learn how to feel, how to then, while you're doing that, get this sensation of compression through the impact area. And I've got a little game you can play. I've got two drills, but the first one is, tell you what, let me give you the drill first. Sorry, let's give you a drill. So. Grab a screw, screwdriver. Everyone's got a screwdriver. I've seen this done with all kinds of things like alignment sticks and what have you. But grab a screwdriver, stick it in the top part of your grip here so it sticks out nice and simple. And all we're going to do here is this. Most, most players, when they're not striking the ball very well, they swing back here and what they're doing is they're simply flicking. If you start flicking here, this screwdriver is going to start to hit you in your side. So be a little bit careful. Um, but what's happening is it's gonna flick here. What you wanna do is get the sensation that if you swing naturally, you're gonna miss through here. The screwdriver's not gonna hit your side. I'm literally swinging backwards and forwards and the screwdriver's missing. If I flick through, it's clearly gonna point at me, at my belly button quite quickly, it might even hit me. Just watch out, people sometimes get this wrong by, oh, okay, I don't wanna, they, they start to do stuff like this. And again, that's an isolated motion. They are missing their body with a screwdriver, but that's not what they actually want wanting. That's why we need to do stage one first. You need to let the club swing through freely first. Okay, once we've done that, then you can start to play a few shots. And all we're gonna do now, I'm gonna hit a shot, I'm getting that sensation. Look how my body's naturally clearing. And watch this, if it doesn't clear and I get flicky, it's gonna hit me in the side. So here we go, nice and smooth. And away we go. Misses the side beautifully. Get lovely amount of compression. 
And do you know what? For some of you, you might find this feeling a little bit weird to start with. It might feel like it's a little bit stiff. I'm happy with a little bit of stiffness initially just here, but I don't want to stay like that, okay? It's very important that you have this flowing motion. Golf isn't a mechanical thing. You've got to have always rhythm and flow to it. This is just fine tuning it and helping you get that compression or the feeling of compression. We do another one like this and away we go. I'm really getting that sensation. The ball's traveling off naturally a bit lower because I'm avoiding that. Simple exercise. Most people can try that, learn the feel of compression. Then this one I love. This one's even simpler than that. This one gives you a great feel. So watch this. I get myself set. I'm going to open my stance really wide open, but keep the ball position kind of central. Now, if I allow my hands to release and I get flicky here, where's the ball going to go? Miles. It's going to go miles left, isn't it? So I'm going to try to keep the ball nice and straight on this motion. So the only way I can actually do that look is by getting this sensation here. If I allow myself to kind of flick, it's going to go left. So this is a fun game. And because your body's a wonderful problem solver, it will solve the problem by naturally holding that face much, much squarer through impact and therefore holding the angle. Not because you're trying to hold the angle, because just it's natural to do that. So we get ourselves set. Let's take a couple of shots from here. So I'm going to literally try and get the sensation of keeping the ball online still while keeping it straight. That's a beautiful strike. Even surprised myself with that one. So let's have another a look at that. So you can see here, I'm aiming miles to, the, to my left, ball still central. But obviously, if I kind of release this here and get the flicky motion, that ball's going to go left. In fact, let's just show that. If I flick, ball's going to go miles to the left straight away. And that's going to give you that horrible sense of flick, no strike whatsoever. So again, in order for you to make a change in your goal swing, you have to learn to feel what compression feels like, you need to feel what this angle feels like but without forcing the angle. Make this mechanical, make it stiff, hold, try and hold on to this. There's just no swing. It just becomes an artificial manufactured move. Give yourself, your body a challenge. It will naturally try and solve the problem. So I'm maybe miles to the left here. My target's over there. And all I'm gonna do is, is I look at how naturally, I'm, in order for me to kind of keep that square club face kind of facing where I want the ball to go, I naturally have to hold this there without all the stiffness. So let's play the game. I'm going to try and set it off online. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's have another look at that in action. So we're still swinging freely. We're still getting that sensation of compression, but it's happening much more naturally by giving us body a nice little problem. Look at that. That's an absolute beaut. So you can see there, there's three stages to learning this sensation of getting this motion coming through. So we're basically, the first thing you've got to do, you've got to make sure that you still have this flowing motion. I do not want this to be kind of this artificial, <coughs> excuse me, try to hold the angle, get the sensation that the arms are being slung by the body. If you don't quite understand exactly what I'm talking about there, it's such an important factor. Check the video out, I put in this top right hand corner, it will really, really, really help. Get the flow, you've got to allow this club to let go. No control over this motion. Once you've got that sensation of letting go, then you've got to then say, okay, I need to learn how to add the compression or the feel of compression to that. We said, look, yeah, you can try it nice and simply with putting a screwdriver in. I've seen people use alignment sticks. So these, these in training age, you can add to this, but training age costs money. So look, most people got screwdrivers, stick it in there. Get the sensation of swinging freely. And as look, as I literally avoid that hitting my body, my body turns beautifully out of the way. If I flick here, it's gonna start hitting my body. It's a simple motion. The key though is don't use it with an isolated motion. That's too mechanical and there's no power. You should be practice swinging through, just naturally avoiding it. My favorite, however, is this motion. Aim miles to the left for a right-hander, ball central, and give your body a problem. It's gonna to have to solve the problem by doing this. Get that sensation, and it'll be give you a great way of starting to get some form 
of compression with this shot. It's just fighting it. That's lovely. And then from there, you can gradually move the stance back around to square, get the sensation again and think, okay, I'm maybe not doing it as much now, but I'm gonna see if I can transfer that sensation back and through and away you go. And I will just play around with this. The key with golf is remember it's a sport. It needs to be dynamic. You need to have this, uh, you need to develop feels. So many people understand what to do, um, but they don't really know how to do it because they don't understand how to train their body. Body needs to, re it requires much more feel-oriented exercises. These games like this will provide the body with the right information so it can learn, learn the feels, learn the strike, and then away you go. I really hope this helps. If you know somebody else is struggling with their striking, particularly with the irons, share this video it will really really help and of course if you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up maybe come and join the community just by subscribing to the channel and pressing that bell button if you're not already but until next week have a great golfing week